Finally, a Windows 11 that does not require TPM 2.0. You don't want to miss that. Hi there and welcome back to another episode of me, Budget Gaming HD. And in today's episode, we will be discussing Windows 11 Mini, or Tiny as they call it on the street. I'll be looking at how security is, doing a couple of pen testing, drivers, compatibility support, antivirus support, and of course, gaming. So let's jump right in. Hello everyone and welcome to this quick overview of Windows 11 Tiny. And in today's episode, we will be discussing the following. How good is Windows 11 against outside threats? I'll be doing some pen testing. In the next couple of weeks, however, I will give you an overview in this episode of how good it is against basic attacks. Next, we will move over to compatibility and, of course, then gaming. Speaking of compatibility, there was one thing that I did notice that I didn't like about Windows 11 Tiny, which you should probably note. Copy some sort of Internet Explorer, Chrome or Firefox onto your USB drive. Luckily, I had one on one of my drives backed up as this computer did not come with any Internet Explorer, nothing that I could see. And every time when you wanted to try and install one, it said Windows updates will do this later. Using this operating system is a blast. It is so smooth and I love working on it. But before we continue, I'd like to move my task manager over to the left, as it will drive me insane, literally. I also love the fact that you can have multiple screens at the top. Let's head over to Computer Management and Task Manager. I can see my RAM is at 9GB, which is fairly high, and it's only detecting 2666 mega transfers per second, whereas my RAM is 3733 mega transfers per second. However, I'm not too worried about it now at this very moment. Here is a simple trick to get your startup memory as low as possible. Let's say you have a total of 16 gigabytes of RAM consisting of four by four gigabyte memory modules. When you install Windows, just use one times four gigabyte, then install the rest after you've installed your Windows. You can thank me later. The CPU usage looks normal, all good so far. Now to note, I must say that everything has been done on this OS, so I apologize if the quality is bad. However, I want to give you guys the real look and feel for this OS from a content creator's perspective. Drivers I had no issues with so far. My 3080 Ti motherboard and audio drivers installed just fine. I even installed my NVIDIA drivers for the GPU and that was also fine. Now getting on my favorite topic, the penetration testing. Do keep in mind I removed all my firewalls to make it easier and I know my internal network. So here is the result. I managed to get in via RDP, SSH and Telnet. However, Echo Shell failed. If you're a Linux person, you already know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get in via Linux hack command known as Reverse Echo Shell. However, I'll still play around with it in the next few weeks. Would I say this OS is bad, looking at its vulnerabilities? Can we actually call them vulnerabilities? I don't think so. But I would also not say this is a bad OS. I would just say make sure that you guys are safe by having an active firewall on your router, blocking services you do not wish to use. If you do not use RDP, SSH, Telnet, VPN, any of those services, please disable them. And I'm not talking about if you disable a VPN service in your router that you won't be able to use your VPN at home. I'm just saying this is a service that you don't need if you don't use it. Then also have a good antivirus on your system and you will be sorted. Now let's jump in to the gaming sections.
got to be careful here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button as it helps me make new content for you. In a nutshell, I think the mix benchmark results purely came down because the Windows system didn't pick up my full memory potential. However, I will still experiment with it. I'll probably revisit the subject soon. So once again, thank you for watching and I shall see you soon.